Okay guys, so today I'm reviewing this Parkside miter saw and stand. So they come as separate items. So you have the saw and then you have the optional uh, additional stand, which in my opinion is a no-brainer. So this would be available maybe once or twice a year from little stores. Okay, so just to give you a quick walk around video, here you have the stand. So I just have a piece of laminate flooring there, a lint. Well, let's move it to one side. So the first thing you will notice is it has four legs, which are retractable, so it'll fold up on itself. So the two legs here will go up and up, and the two on the back will fold in up to the green base part of the stand. So it's like a crutch. You have the little button that presses in, and then it will fold into position. Then you'll see you have your rollers here, which are height adjustable. So if you have different types or thicknesses of timber, you can position this to different heights to facilitate the feeding of the timber in to be chopped or cut. And again, there's also adjustment on this roller. You can slide it out further again with these loosening off these grub screws. That's retractable and I can go back into place and you can tighten it up. Again, this is the mirror image, it's the same on the left side. Then here you have little, like a G-clamp, just for securing down the timber if you're afraid it's going to hop or bounce when you're cutting. <coughs> then you can actually slide the whole base of the stand left or right. So you can loosen that off, loosen that off, and then that whole base can just slide left or right, just travel along. So tighten them back up again. Next thing you will see here, if you press just on the bottom there, you will unlock this angle. So it goes all the way to 45 degrees and it'll lock in at 45 degrees. And then again, it'll lock in at 30 degrees which you'll see here on the dial and then press it again and you can just lock her back in again at zero degrees which is your standard operation position for most applications. On the back then you have your little dust bag which just sits on just a little hose clip that makes it that you can pop it on and off. Then you have a little zip on the bottom just for emptying it. Then in terms of the blade itself, it is 255 millimeter. It comes pre-fitted with the blade. So you can chop timber or up to three millimeters of certain types of steel. But do this with caution. So yeah, um, in terms of then your power flex, you see there on the bottom, it's three meters long, which you know is pretty decent. And now we'll just power it up, switch it on at the wall socket and just give you a, an idea of the operation. So the first thing you'll see here when you turn it on and you plug it out of the box, you have a little light which just lights up your work area. You'll see with my hand here, just pop it down into the working position. You'll see the little switch, flick it once. You have your LED light with a red laser, which you might see a little bit better if I put in the timber on. So that will show you where exactly you're going to be cutting or your line of cut. Then you can press that button again, goes off, press it again, just the laser, press it again, just the light, press it. You can keep adjusting it to your needs. Okay, so let's pop out that timber again. And now in order to start it up, press in on the safety switch with my left, my thumb, then press here. You hear it starting up. It's always important as well to wear your corrective safety gear. So you'll see here it has the symbols to wear eye protection, noise protection, dust mask. Always read the manual and be careful where you put your hands. Now there is a good safety guard on this and as the saw comes back up into the storage position, the cover retracts. 
accordingly, which is what you always want on such a saw. Then on the top here as well, you have two operational speeds. I have it in the slow setting one, or if you want it to go at a higher power setting, i.e. a higher RPM of the blade, you flick it to setting two, and now you'll, this is running. That just gives you that bit more uh, power. Now, this particular motor and this saw is 2000 watts, so it is quite high power. And the actual model number of this is Makers Parkside, and the model number is MPKZ2000A1. Okay. So, yeah, overall, not a bad saw. Cost 125 euro, and then the stand was an additional 59.99. So, I mean, for less than 200 euro, all in, it's a good bit of kit. To be honest, it is worthwhile buying the stand as well. It's something you'd have for life. Puts it at a nice um, working position, and especially if you're cutting the lights of laminate flooring or anything like that, it is a dusty, dirty job. Even with the little dust bag on, it's something you're going to want to work at outside on a decent day so you're not getting everything destroyed in your workshop to save you doing a bit of cleaning afterwards so overall i mean it does might look a little bit cheap some of the little fixtures and that not the most hectic like the g clamps and that but it actually feels quite good the operation of it the handle like the two speed setting yeah it's it's quite good it does everything that I suppose any other saw will do. It's more designed for DIY. I mean, you're not going to be fitting kitchens with this or anything like that. But for a run-of-the-mill general DIY, it's it's more than adequate and efficient. And yeah, it comes with a three-year warranty as well. So look, even if something does die, you have your peace of mind there with the warranty. So yeah, overall, I'd probably give it about maybe an eight out of ten, and that'd be factoring in the stand as well. So any questions? Just leave a comment, please.